guys, so today is a bit of a different video. I actually used to do these types really often, but I just kind of fell out of the habit of making so many things myself. But there is one thing that I make because it is so freaking easy and I make it all the time and that is dry hair shampoo. You may or may not know that I am very into no poo, that is not using shampoo on my hair. Or I like to call it low poo because sometimes I do wash my hair with shampoo, in those times I use a shampoo bar. But most of the time I simply wash it with water and that is it. A few years ago I looked around in my bathroom and just saw loads of plastic bottles of shampoo and conditioner. I started doing some research and I've written a whole blog post around no poo. But basically I've stripped it back to only washing my hair with water and occasionally with a shampoo bar. And it's working awesomely, however, there are some days... Okay. But yeah, some days using water just doesn't cut it or maybe I'm going somewhere special and I just want to make my hair look a little bit better. That is when I'll always pull out the dry hair shampoo. Also, I am not one for like fancy or long-winded beauty regimes and this is literally the simplest thing to do. I feel like every single busy mum needs dry hair shampoo in their life. I have a very stubborn, greasy part of my hair around this region that However much I kind of massage water into it and use my ball bristle brush and just work on that area, it doesn't seem to shift and it's just for me where a lot of the grease or sebum kind of congregates. <laughs> so that is where I will often use my dry hair shampoo. So today I'm going to show you my super simple recipe. I got all my ingredients from Akala, which is my go-to zero waste beauty online store. They're aiming to be a kind of a zero waste boots alternative where you'll be able to stock up on all your zero waste beauty essentials as well as products and ingredients to make your own thing. And also soon they're going to be doing a refill service so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Obviously you can buy dry hair shampoo but it just contains some ingredients I'm not that happy with. Namely there's something called liquefied petroleum gas and I'm not a scientist but that's basically I think what aerosol cans need to force it out of the can and make it into a spray which is obviously a more convenient way to apply dry hair shampoo. But yeah I'm not really happy with that ingredient so I just make my own and also it's way cheaper. I also really like dry hair shampoo because it is a classic example of us going back in time and doing what our great grandmas used to do. They used to put something called arrowroot powder on their hair. I'm going to be using cornstarch today but it's really similar to arrowroot. They're both types of starch. It just makes me happy to be relying on natural ingredients and doing something that's been done for centuries and yeah, relying on those kind of methods for my beauty products as opposed to like cans with scary sounding ingredients. It's also really polluting. What I'm making today is absolutely zero waste so I will show you how I do it. Okay, so these are my ingredients, cornstarch, cocoa powder, and just the container where I'm going to store it. So these are my ingredients, cocoa powder, cornstarch, and that's basically it. This is a container I'm going to store it in. This is basically just a washed out old spice jar. The reason I use this is because um, it's got these little handy holes, so when you shake it, it just comes out really nicely and then a spoon. I don't have any fancy measuring spoons or anything, but I do know the conversion, so I'll just do it that way. So following the Akala recipe, I need 60 ml of cornstarch, and I know that that's about three and a half tablespoons. So, here's my measuring bowl. One, two, three. And then I need 60 ml of cocoa powder. One, and as you can imagine, this smells really good. Two, three, and actually that will do me. I thought that I needed more, but I don't. That's it, mix it up. And that is me done. That's my new little batch of dry hair shampoo. So easy, I should have added as well that the cocoa powder is just because I'm brunette and it obviously disguises the colour of the white cornstarch but if you're blonde you don't really need any and if you're ginger or redhead then I would suggest something maybe like um, we're up to my friend's house later and my pesky greasy patch is persisting so I'm gonna go and apply some of this right now. Okay so here I am in my bathroom, this is it there, and you only need a small amount, at least I only use a small amount. So, And then, 
just massage it in. And it always helps if you've got somebody on hand just to confirm you've got no white flakiness in your hair. I'm actually going to put a bit more in. Basically the cornstarch works by absorbing all the grease and for me anyway it just gives me this like lift in my hair which I really like as well as it taking away the greasy look. And yeah, I think I'm good to go. Thank you so much for watching guys. This video has been a bit of an up close and personal one. But I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you give making dry hair shampoo a go. Because it's so easy, it's all natural, it's cheap. And yeah, it just makes sense. Especially if you are experimenting with no poo. Because for me anyway, this is just perfect because at the end of the day or whenever I next wash my hair with water, I just rinse it out really easily. I don't know how it would work if you don't wash your hair at all, ever. Because I feel like you probably would get a build up of it and you'd need to wash it out at some point. But anyway, definitely check out Akala for their ingredients but also for all their recipes. They've got so much DIY cool stuff going on on their site. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!